we will open the geometry. So now we need to go in X1 X1 plan. This four. Go in apply. Number of division year apply. Fourteen. Forty. Now go again in set in sizing. Now choose this four lines. Number diamond finger fold. So now go in the number of division here apply the hundred. Now let's see the mesh. We will use the structure mesh. Now check the mesh. How it is. Which look good. You can see the structure mesh. Now, this line are remaining. Now, to again go and insert, select the sizing, choose these lines, apply number of division here. How much we apply 200? So, here 200 standard mesh. For this diamond ring airfoil, we will choose the firefoil boundary condition. So, give the name selection, click on geometry, click edge here, and select all outer boundaries like this. Select all now, right click on it and create name selection and give the name firefoil. Okay, now go again in uh, again in edge and select the airfoil. Voyages, right click and create name selection aerofoil boy okay we can check from here about position far field and aerofoil ball so we can close the mesh now we can see the mesh is very good so close the meshing 
Red click on mesh. Our mesh is updated. Now go in the setup, right click on it and go in edit. edit. We will choose double precision, parallel processor I have, so I choose 4. Due to supersonic speed, the density base, we will do in steady state, we can on their gravity also if you want. Minus 9.8 can boot. Go in model. Turn on the energy equation. Go in viscous. And uh, your flow is k epsilon because vortices are uh, near near the wall. We are going to see also the flow characteristics. Now go in k epsilon, well zero. Now select OK. Now go in material. It's air. Density is uh, ideal gas. Viscosity we have to choose superland because it's for superland flow. It's at the speed. Now go into boundary condition. Go in far field. Select here the pressure far field. So as we said, we need to do simulation at make two number 2.0 gauge pressure is 69000 and temperature is 254 Kelvin. This is okay. Now go in powerful wall. The operating condition here the wall is zero. Change pressure to zero. So now go in reference value and check the all the values are yes, we put the velocity is 68.7419 pollution methods. We want uh the most result at least so which is the second order of point. Check converter of point, go in solution controls, no, no any change required. If you want to, if you want drag and so go in drag, drag coefficient, select all and don't forget to select the self file In next direction we will get the CD. Now go in lift, click to console, select right also and don't forget to select this airfoil wall. Now press OK, so we will get the lift and drag coefficients. Now go in report definition, double click on it, select uh, new, go in force report, go track force. So here we need to write track, select airfoil wall and click here also. Okay, now go in a uh, force report again, again go in lift. Now rename it lift and select all this and don't forget to select this airfoil wall. Otherwise, uh, this process is not happen. happening. Uh, now close it. Now go in solution initialization. Now we will do the standard initialization from far field analyze. Now go in calculation activity. Now go in auto save. We want where number so we need to edit here. Uh, each time if we want to save the results at this equation, so we can write 200. Now go in data file quantities. We can add dynamic pressure, make number, anything, dynamic pressure and make number. So press OK. OK. Now go into so we can. Yes, no recommendation to make it this time, okay. So we are on the perfect way. So we can apply here for 2000 and see what result. Please calculate. Calculation is starting. We can see here CLCD, track lift, all the things. At our above also, we will see the track lift port plot. We can see here our solution is converged. Converge now. Now we will check the lift force and drag force value. Go in the and the two forces. For drag, we will choose the access one. In next direction, we will get the drag. Click on print. We will see here 3299.81468. That is our drag force. Now change x to 0 and y to 1. Now click on print. You can see here. This is our lift force 8805.3216. Now close this. Here we can check the lift coefficient and drag coefficient value values. Just go over and CL. This is our CL 4.55 and our CD is 1.78. 0 0.0178 and CD is 0 0.0455. So now going to result.
डायमंड विल केयरफुल थैंक यू